Welcome to today's webinar for Automated Double Donor Chimerism SCR Analysis using Chimer Marker Software, presented by Fu Quinn. Please review our introductory Chimer Marker webinar prior to beginning double donor analysis. During today's webinar, we will start with a brief overview of the program and then walk through the steps to analyze the double donor Chimerism dataset. Chimer Marker Software integrates analysis workflow from raw data analysis to Chimerism quantification and reporting. The software is compatible with all major CE instruments and human identity chemistries for rapid, accurate size, and allele calls. It has a user-friendly interface and link navigation that decreases error due to data transfer, automates peak identification, and contains an audit trail when user management is activated. For chromosome analysis of post- and pre-transplant samples, the software automatically detects donor and recipient peaks and uses this information to quantify percent chimerism by height or area. The results can be displayed in percent donor or recipient in the comprehensive summary report. Additional applications include maternal cell contamination and single donor chimerism analysis. Please see separate webinar for more information on these applications. First, we will do a quick overview of the basic functions covered in the introductory webinar. For more in-depth information, Please review the introductory webinar which discusses genotyping analysis, analysis settings, reviewing data, and single donor chimerism analysis. Then we will move on to double donor chimerism analysis using the rapid chimerotyping method. Finally, we will discuss the calculated results, saving the report, and printing the report. To import data into ChimerMarker, use the file drop down menu and select Open Data. In the dialog box, Click the Add button to import samples into ChimerMarker. You can also remove files by selecting the sample and clicking Remove. After you have finished selecting your files, hit OK to begin the import. After importing the data, go to View, Preference, and select the Chimerism tab. You must specify the identification for Donor 1, Donor 2, and Recipient as previously discussed with single donor data. You can also right click on a sample in the main analysis window and select set sample type to specify the identifiers. Once the identification has been set, you can access the run wizard through the run wizard icon. In the first window, follow the same procedure discussed in the introductory webinar to select a panel and size standard or select a template appropriate for the data. In the second window, select auto create chimerism panel. In this window, if you have not set the identifiers for the sample, you can right-click on a particular sample and assign a specific category. Finally, assign a name to the panel, click Next, and then OK to begin the analysis. Before moving on to chimerism analysis, you should review your data to make sure all desired peaks are called. In this example, there are two empty bins from the chimerotyping panel because these alleles did not pass the minimum detection threshold. However, you can manually include the peak by right-clicking at the very tip of the peak to ensure accurate height and area measurement and selecting Insert Allele. Using this method, you can include or exclude any allele from the chimerism calculations. As for single donor data, all allele would have an identification after the analysis finishes. This time, D1 stands for Donor 1, D2 for donor 2, and R for recipient. Any shared allele will be indicated by each of the identifiers just mentioned. To begin quantification, click on the Application tab and select Double Donor Analysis. All settings are described in details in the introductory webinar. Click OK to begin quantification. The analysis will display the quantification results in the middle pane. As you can see, the results will give you total donor percent chimerism as well as an estimated value for each individual donor contribution. The yellow color and the ignore column indicate the markers that are not used in the quantification. This is done either by selection of SAI or right clicking on a particular marker and choosing to ignore the marker. You can navigate to each individual samples by using the browser pane on the left. The electrophorogram for the selected samples will be displayed on the right side. Any markers with a red color code is either ignored or uninformative. 
You can use the Help menu on the upper right hand side for an explanation of each parameter. After reviewing your data, either by calculations or using the multiple sample view, you can save the report as an Excel sheet by using the Save icon located in the toolbar. You can also choose to print out a summary report by clicking on the Print icon. In this dialog box, you can select specific samples or markers to print as well as the individual parameters and components. Click on Preview to see a preview of the summary report. The first page of the summary report has a header that displays the parameters and thresholds used, name of sample and project, user management, and type of analysis. The electrophorogram displays all the dye colors and markers for that particular sample. The second page of the report contains the exact same header. The results for all calculated parameters are displayed unless chosen not to be displayed. Any comments added to the project will be displayed on the last page. Please see introductory webinar for more information. Once you have reviewed the project and saved it, you can use the longitudinal report to build a graph by using all the sample present in the project. The graph shows deconvoluted donor 1, donor 2, and total donor chimerism. Using this graph, you can see the fluctuations between donor 1 and donor 2 as time goes on. Please review the longitudinal webinar for more detailed information on this report. In today's webinar, we went over the rapid and accurate allele and size calling for post bone marrow transplant double donor chimerism analysis. The pre transplant samples were used to automatically create a chimerotyping panel and used for peak identification and quantification. Finally, we talk about the flexible capabilities of Karma Marker to include or exclude certain parameters, print reports, and saving the reports with relative information from user management. Thank you for your interest in Karma Marker software for automated Karmaism STR analysis and monitoring. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial, go to www.softgenetics.com or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com.